Hey everyone, Ulama has launched a new application, a desktop application and this desktop application is going to use a local model which is going to run on your own computer. Let's say if you are a privacy freak person, then this Olama application is really very helpful to you. Let's say you have some question you just ask, it is going to answer it quickly. Whatever the chat you do here, those chats are going to be listed here. You can also play with the settings, but let me first take you through the Olama new application blog here. Earlier, if you have worked with the Olama, you know Olama had only the CLI version, which you used to run using terminal only. But now Olama have launched here a new application, like you have here a Cloud A or the Chat GPT application. But the problem with the other LLM model that they send your data to the internet or to their own server. But in case of Olama, this doesn't happen here. In case of the Olama, your data is staged to your own computer only. It does not go outside of the, your computer. If you are dealing with the private data or quite sensitive data, then this particular application is going to be very helpful to you. So they have launched this here. You can get the list of all the models from here. You can select. I'll just show you here a live application, how you can use it, how you can run it. Along with that, you can also see here that Olama's new app supports file drag and drop, making it easier to region with the text or the PDF file. Earlier, what we used to do, we used to send the file to the chat GPT or any other application which upload this file to their own server and then they answer there. And if you do not have any paid subscription, then after some time, they stop responding. They say that you your chat or your free usage has passed or you have exceeded your free usage. All these things. All right. Let me just take you through the download option. So you need to click on here the download. Thereafter, you will be getting option to download for your PC. So I'm using here a Windows. I downloaded it and thereafter I installed this Olama. Once Olama is installed, then you can open this Olama. You should be also able to see Olama running here as well. So this is the question which I just asked here. I asked question, help me write an email to my boss for leave. You can ask missing information. So now this model is going to ask me all this information here. Like it want me to tell that what is going to be the formal or detail. So basically, if I choose option one, it is going to be like this. And then there it has the placeholders. These placeholders I can fill. And there is another one slightly the less formal. And then all of these here I have. And thereafter, these things it says. Let's say I am saying here I want less formal, but short and sweet. I want two days. Let's say that my name is Lakshmi Kant Tiwari. All right. Now do not put any place holder. Okay. Today is first August twenty twenty five. Let's say. Perfect. Here it has written here. Although I told that do not put any placeholder, but still it has placed here placeholder. Now the problem with these with this that we have here a very, you know, the small model here. And you can find out the list of the model. Currently, Olama supports only these model. Whatever you have here, these model can be used to chat. The you have here the JMA 3, 27 billion model. 27 parameters here and 12 billion parameters, 4 billion parameters. So you don't see any download option here because I have already downloaded it. And then you have here a Quinn 3, 30 billion model, then DeepSeek R1, 8 billion model here. All right, let's go ahead and just download this. Or I can just write here, hello. It will try to find out this model. So it is not available. Now it is going to download. In meantime, let me just uh, take you through the settings here. You can come here on the setting. If you want to sign in with the Olama, you can sign in here with the Olama. All right. Thereafter, if you want to expose your Olama application to other devices, you can select it here. So you will be, you will be, you know, asked here with these options. Let me just see that. Where are 
factors. So with these, like you want to allow your Olama with the public networks or the private network, you can select these and then allow. Thereafter, you should be able to access this Olama in other devices because you see here at your own home, you might have only one GPU or only one system which has GPU supports, but you want to access your Olama on the other devices as well. So you can enable from here. And this is the place where all the models are going to be stored. If you, I just copy it from here and thereafter, if I try to go it there, I should be able to see all my models here. So all these models are here. These are the blob and then the manifest here, all the registry, library. Now you see these models are here. All right, so to whatever the model I have currently downloaded, all these models are available there where I just shown you. Thereafter, you can also choose here the context list, the context length, how much length it is going to use to chat here. So this Olama model, basically the LLM model, which is running in the Olama, is going to have the memory for these many contexts. So I have selected the maximum here, 128. And the currently, if you want to know the configuration of my PC, so I am running here 90. 6 GB RAM and also I am having here 32 GB you know the GPU and that is the RTX 5090 and then I am also having here Intel Ultra 9 to 85k all right so this is my system configuration on which I am running let me just ask that here do you know about this i'm sure it might not know about this because this was the model which was launched later on i need to see that whether this deep seek have the information about these probably that have information about the ultra but it is still downloading let it download in meantime let's go ahead and download some pdf here so that we can chat with the pdf i'm going to download here a pdf from you know the sec filing so let's say I download here Apple 10 cube filing. So I want to analyze, let's say, a financial document from the Apple. And I come here, all filing, and then I'm going to select here the latest year, which is the 25. All right. So here we have a 25. I should be able to see here the 10 cube. This is the quarterly report, which was published on August 1, 2025. And here is the PDF. So this is the PDF which was published on the 1st August and then I'm just going to download it here. Let's say Apple, I'm going to say that this is the 10Q August 25. All right, perfect. Once you have your PDF locally here on your computer, then you can open this and let me just see that with whether it has downloaded. Seems like it has downloaded here. Now I can just drag and drop my file there and thereafter I can start chatting with my file here. All right. So I have my file here, this one, and thereafter I just drop it here. You can see here this file is attached here and thereafter I can ask that what this file is about. How much PNL is there, let's say. So I want to know that how much profit and loss of the Apple disclosed. I mean, how much profit and loss Apple has disclosed in its quarterly filing here. In meantime, I asked that, do you know about this? It has responded here that it knows about the Intel Ultra 285K processor. And it also knows, okay, it don't know about the RTX 5090 because it was launched recently and DeepSeek don't have that particular information. Anyway, let's go ahead and ask this question. It is still generating here and finally writing here the conclusion. Let's go ahead and see whether it is able to answer this particular question or not. So you see that the DeepSeq R1 is the thinking model. So it will first extract the text data from this PDF. Thereafter, it will put some thought on the PDF and the question. Thereafter, it will produce the final answer here. As you can see here that it has started thinking that 
it want to know about the PNL profit and loss. So it says that first I need to identify that this file is form 10Q from the Apple and it was filed in August 25. And here it says that how much PNL is there. So Apple has, you know, responded with the some 23 million, I guess that was there. And then common stock purchase and all these stuffs are there written. Now it is trying to you know trying to collect all these informations together and finally it will present information here now you see the beauty of this olama here now you can see here none of my data is going outside of my computer here that i can show you from the task manager let me just show you here with the task manager you will see that my wi-fi is currently not getting used all right so you see there's 0 kbps, 8 kbps or almost it is 0 kbps, right? All right, so that's the 0 kbps in that way you will see here. Basically, my, my data is being processed on local computer itself. All right, and thereafter you will see this GPU is getting used here. So uh, GPU have here the consumption as this data is getting generated here you can see the gpu consumption seems like final data is generated here and it says that here that okay let me break down what is the what this file is about the one thing you will notice here there are there is the two question here one is what this file is about another one is the how much pnl there so it has broken down into the two question there about the pnl and about the file so here it says that about the file and what this file does all these things like the financial statement for the quarter, management discussions, analysis, and thereafter the revenue sources, etc. And then how much PNL is there? So in the PNL, it says that net income for the quarter ending June 28, 25 is 23 million here. In fact, it's a 23 billion actually, 23,000 million. So it's a 23 billion. And then the total net income for the first nine months of this fiscal year September is here 84 billion dollar. Let's go ahead and verify this data whether this data is correct or not. This thing we can also do here. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open here. Let me just open it. Okay. And then I'm just going to find out this particular data. So here it says that 23,434 million dollars. So because you see here, in millions everything so this is the net income for this particular quarter which ended on the june 28 here so basically this report was you know final report was prepared on this and thereafter it says that for nine months ended it has 84 billion and we can compare the result here we can see here the result is exactly correct now you see here that how powerful is this olama ui the one thing I see here is missing currently with the Olama application that there is no tool support and there is no MCP support. Basically, let's say if I want to ask that what is the current weather in Mumbai or the New Delhi, this application would not be able to tell me. For example, let's say what is current weather in New Delhi. So it don't have that real time information and there is no tool support. So it will not be able to provide any kind of real time information. All right. I hope that this overall introduction helped you and this helped you to get started with the Olama. Now you can test here with so many other applications and sorry, with so many other models. And if you want me to cover any other topic on the generative AI, you can comment in the comment section. You can let me know. And if you have any question, you can ask me. All right. Bye. Take care.